During July and August, Longridge was on countdown for a big event. Things were beginning to happen. Paintings were starting to appear in many shop windows, hardware, jewellers, hairdressers. Artists suddenly popped up in shops. And then they were on the streets, setting up easels, getting out their palettes and brushes. What was going on? Hi, I'm Alistair. I'm one of the organisers of today's event, Create, Create Longridge. We've actually got 65 artists painting today in and around Longridge within a three mile radius of the town centre. Despite the appalling weather this morning, they are absolute troopers. Mm -hmm. um, we've already had some works completed. All works got to be finished by six o'clock, so some of them already feel that they're on a deadline and judging will start then. They're competing for the first prize of £2,000 and all the work produced on the day is then going to go into exhibition and sale. So hopefully all the artists will get some benefit from being here as well as wet hair and wet clothes. Uh, my name's Luke Tomlinson. Yes, where are you from Luke? I'm from uh, Accrington, so a bit of a track away from here. Yeah. I'm painting um, this uh, the reservoir up here by Longridge. Um, I was ideally set a bit further out but due to the rain being uh, constrained to <laughs> the back of the car. Um, we've been here since since it started at 8 o'clock. All I've got mainly done so far is got all the blocks of colour and the, and the background. I've got the top half mostly done so long as the rain stays away from it. Yeah. Um, so now I'll be working on the middle section downwards and then later on adding uh, the extra bits of like detail. This is the hub really of, of an event that's taking place today called Create Longridge and there's dozens and dozens and dozens of people painting and doing art all around the town okay. and I've seen a few people they've been starting since eight o'clock this morning um, so in spite of the rain people are just coming here with umbrellas Glenn my name's Jeff Rollinson I'm just attempting a painting from D Dilworth Reservoir looking towards Beacon Fell but we've got a little li limited time so I have to rush so I'm talking while I'm working My name's Stephen Armrod, I'm from um, Burnham, Lancashire, um, enjoying the experience of doing it, it's quite scary, but uh, I'm enjoying myself. And are you a professional artist? I am, 28 years. Have you done anything like this before? Never. Right, <laughs> so what do you think of the idea? I think the idea is fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed with the weather, you know, it's a shame there's not more people out there painting. Um, but I, I just felt uh, every now and again you've got to do something that terrifies you. This is, this is quite terrifying for me. I normally work in a studio, so this is it's different. Paintings I paint quite emotionally, so they're all to do with um, they're quite surreal, uh, self-reflective, uh, and quite impressionistic. Um, this one's um, basically about it's the reservoirs coming down into Longridge, but what I'm trying to do is capture almost the journey down to um, those, and also it I, when I did the journey down, and there was it started off and the sun was kind of up here, and then throughout the Jenny, it's kind of set, and I want to try and capture all the different colours and the light throughout that time period. I'm Scarlett Thompson, um, actually sister to Megan Thompson. I did art um, at Sony S where um, I went to school, I had an art scholarship there, so my kind of school years were heavily dominated by art. Um, and then I chose not to do it at university. So it's just been a hobby since then, really. So I'm doing today um, a scene from, there's a, a pig farm just up the road. Um, but the one I'm doing today is of Barbara, who's actually a female farmer. And she's um, actually in one of the pens and the piglets are eating her wellies. <laughs> just right here, 
quite on the main high street and there are there's a people have set up umbrellas and all sorts of makeshift shelters and marquees so they can carry on doing their painting for this create longridge event today it's a really big event the first time they've ever done this and um under a big umbrella outside the pub there's a couple of ladies here so let me chat to this lady first hello i'm helen from radio lancashire oh hello hello i love your painting by the way is that just all from yeah. in your head uh, well i started this morning at half past eight i was stood under the tree up there so i've done all the background from life and then i came over a few weeks ago and took some photographs of the local people i hope they recognize themselves Uh, hi, where have you come from today? Yeah, just around the corner from Derby Road. Oh, right. I've been living here for the last three years. So right. This is a, a local scene for me. Right. So, are you a professional artist? Uh, no, just uh, it's been a hobby. And, yes. Uh, it's just having fun, really. So, where do you usually paint? Uh, I don't usually paint. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's when a, you're doing it, it's a, a hobby. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just in the living room. Yeah. Just okay. To, right. Way. So, um, not usually outside. No, this is this is a challenge. This yeah, is a, so. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's fun. There's a lot of people about, and yeah, so yeah, it's a nice thing to do, and it's, it gives you a different view as well. It's really good. Yeah, excellent. Thank you very much. That's okay. Oh, by the way, what's your name? Uh, John McLaughlin. John McLaughlin. Yes. Yeah. Today in Amsterdam, the exact same competition is happening. So on the streets around the city centre of Amsterdam, this competition in, in this form is happening. The, the London event happened a month ago, so our kind of tagline is London, Amsterdam, Longridge. Either so or Susan, I don't mind, Wilson. Right. I'm local, I'm from Melbourne. Right. So it's about three miles away. So do you do a lot of painting? Yeah. Since um, my husband and I sold our business, I've got more time now, so I do do quite a bit. Yeah. But I like to be outside painting. Really. Well, I suppose this is, it's not at home, it's outside as such. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, so it's different. No, I don't like to sit at home and paint for the photograph. I like to get out and yeah. and do the real thing. Yeah. I've just used transparent colours, so hopefully we get a bit of a sort of glow through the whole thing. The only thing I've not put in is the lamp posts and then I've got to go in there. 